guys and welcome to this new come thrifting with me video today we're gonna hunt for vintage pieces it is already 100 degrees i'm already sweating but it's gonna be a fun day i have even packed a flower crown and a few dresses from the boutique because i'm hoping at some point throughout the day we're gonna make it to a beach and i want to take some cute pictures if possible so um we're gonna have a nice day in thrift shops and on the countryside you're gonna see what the danish summer looks like and we're just gonna have a nice and chill day so i hope you're going to like this give a thumbs up if you do enjoy it and let's just hit the road So this first thrift shop is usually a little bit too expensive to be worth it but I am going to take a look around and see if I can find some vintage goodies. This one is so cute but very expensive though. Oh, this one. The dresses in here are usually not really interesting. This is a really new dress. We want to find vintage treasures. This is not vintage, probably also just from H&M or something like that. But it's super cute to layer under dungarees or something like that. So I might get it anyway. You can see that's also how I'm wearing my dungarees today, layered with a blouse underneath. So that might be potential. I have found quite a few things I'm gonna try on. A vest that's super cool, two vintage dresses and um, a really big dress. But I am curious, I don't want to see if I can make it work. So um, let's get changed. This is what I was thinking with the top that it could be worn underneath of something like this or I could wear it tied up like this that looks really cute actually so this is the one that's too big on me I just really like the textile I think it's really cool um, and it's really light and everything but it is just too big um, it just looks like a big bag so it's not gonna work this one is so beautiful but it's too big on me a little bit so maybe I should just get it for the boutique because it's a really stunning piece with these layers and everything like yeah it's a really cute dress there you see and this is the last one that I thought was so cute I actually really like it like look at the sleeves this detail here and then it's super long that's actually really gorgeous I need to put up my hair again my current favorite thrift shop is finally open again it has been closed for months and um, then it has had some really weird opening hours lately so it's finally time for me to go back I haven't been there for months I don't know what they have I don't know if we're going to be as happy as we used to be or if today is going to be a disappointment because my expectations are like up there so let's go in this is the one do, 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 do. Oh, look at first catch my attention. Oh, that's too big. It's really cute. I only found three things of interest. This blue dress, this beautiful vest that is decorated with pearls, and then this. <laughs> That's too small. This dress is so beautiful, but really, really long. 
like yeah it's really big and also I would need to fix it look at that so um, I don't know so now I'm down to just this one because I know I want to get that vest These are really cute too, like look how retro they are. Wow, this is a Queen Margaret. It would make a lovely cake plate, actually. They have a lot of nice homeware things. I actually really like these glasses. If it was colored glass, I would have been getting one I have been looking at this sofa here so many times and they still have it three months later it's such a shame that it's used because I really like it I also found myself a cover for my bed and it's it's looking so good I just need to wash it and it's really cute I like the color scheme so I am going to get that. I also found another plate. I think that's beautiful. Hey guys, um, it was definitely a success. I did not only find two clothing pieces, that was not super successful, but I found some really nice home decor things that I am really, really happy with. So, um, yeah, now we're heading on to the next thrift shop that has always been a favorite of mine as well for as long as I've known about it. So we're gonna go there. I have no idea if you can even hear me. It's very windy. <laughs> so. Look what I found. And I only need one to have a collection of four. Oh, it's just so expensive I think but it is in really good condition I must admit it's just too much I have found some textile so that I can start sewing something and also this I thought would be a nice like picnic blanket um, it's really nice in good quality and then a glass container I'll just think about the chair Oh, apparently it's a plate kind of day. These are really cute as well. This one is my favorite of them. It's crazy how awkward it can be in those thrift shops when there's no music or anything and you, you just feel like everyone is listening to you and especially because my vlogs are in English I feel like it's so awkward to walk around in there like talking to myself but I found this that I thought was so gorgeous so even though I normally hate something like this I think I might try to wash it and then let it air dry because it matches the blanket that I found for like picnics so well so I thought it would be such a cute pair so I got that I'm now just gonna drive by McDonald's I think I want to get an ice cream and hopefully they have a toilet over there somewhere that I can use before we're gonna head on I'm by the way gonna show you everything when I get back home in case there's something I've missed to show you I'm gonna show them later on in this video so just stay tuned but let's hit the road again I made the wrong decision I should just have been eating inside it was so nice temperature and it's so warm in my car but I've opened up the windows ah 
I thought I needed a cold air just to get some sugar in because it's so warm and I'm sweating all the time that's important guys as well as if you're on the beach and you're sweaty get some chips or some salt that's also really important I also found a toilet two weird facts about me I never sit down on a public toilet and also I don't touch any doors or anything on the way out it's just um it's always a thing if I have to touch a door I will take some paper use that and then throw it out when I see a trash can I only got one thing guess what have a guess now you can also get the dip are you ready chili mayo there is one last thrift shop that I feel like we should go by it's also a big one that we've been to before it's in Mungipo in case you're from here um, it's not always a good one but you just never know and it's pretty big so kind of want to give that a chance and then I would love to go to the beach to get into the water that would be so good mm. and by the way pretty proud of myself because I brought a cooling bag with water as you can see I have water in there and then I have a small uh, chocolate milk just in case I wanted that Going here took <laughs> double as long as it usually would but there was so much traffic I think most people get off from work at 2 o'clock on Fridays That was crazy Oh, I need to drink some more water I feel really dehydrated So I'm gonna drink lots and then I know they have a toilet in here for customers Look what I saw. They have one of these too. It's just not looking good. This is so cute. This one as well. Wow, it looks so good. And it's pretty cheap. These are really cute. They have two. Look what I found. <laughs> sunflower mugs. Plates. Everything sunflower. This is pretty cute. I'm trying it on for you guys so um this is um, a skirt it looks like pants when I do this it's a skirt and then there is this top Wake up this morning, make the mistake of turning on the TV. Oh my god, I love this place so much. I was just checking if there was anyone behind me because I'm just in my car, I've just stopped because look at this. Just look how beautiful and calm and peaceful it is. And the beach is out there. There is no internet connection out here, so it's gonna be amazing. Um, it's really nice to be able to disconnect with social media for some time. So not having internet connection means that I can just lay here and chill, read a book and eat some chocolate or something and go into the water when I need it. So. It's actually been really nice just being myself, like driving around, having some me time, not having anybody else to take into consideration, but just 
doing whatever I feel like. <laughs> yeah, it's just been really good. Really enjoying today. My pasta salad was pretty decent. This book though is really really good. I just started reading it yesterday so I've not made it really far and also it takes such a long time because it's full of information and words that I don't really know completely. So it is really good. It, it really puts a lot of things into perspective about the way that we live today, the way that we think about ourselves as humans and not a part of the animal kingdom or whatever you say um, so yeah it is really interesting liking it so far i am back home and this is everything that i found today it's a lot i found these i've never bought shoes in a thrift shop ever before but i just think they're a little bit cute and vintage ish and i think they would be nice with some dresses i got some vintage dresses and a top i decided to get this bracelet in pearls i think it's pretty special and cute the pillow that i'm gonna wash i found one two three plates these these mugs i'm not really sure if i'm gonna keep or if i'm gonna sell them because i have a lot of mugs so i just need to think about it but they're just so cute and i wanted to get them in case um some of you wanted them maybe i'm gonna list them on the web shop and then i found the candles some white blouses and i also got some fabric so that i can do some sewing projects maybe so i got this and i got this one that is also really cute so i also decided to get this for toothbrushes i think it's pretty perfect for people and then it has a sunflower and one more glass or jar just um, for stuff in the kitchen these are like so handy and um, I actually also use them if I need to bring food somewhere they're just easy to handle I love that it's glass and uh, yeah that's everything it's a lot you could almost see my bum in that mirror uh, yeah that was it the day is over I'm disgusting and I am just going to end the vlog here. I really hope that you enjoyed following along this like day off where I just wanted to have some nice time thrifting and also going to the beach afterwards and just like enjoying my time. Um, I'm really enjoying my book so much. There was a guy on the beach, like a man, I think he was German. And uh, I had noticed that he was not wearing clothes like he was naked and he had just been in the water and came back and I looked over to the right just because like I look around once in a while <laughs> and he is laying like on the side over like directly at me there's not a lot of people on the beach and he's laying like this all naked but with his penis penis hidden between his legs and he's just laying like this the only thing he was wearing was like sunglasses and i must admit like if he had not if he had not noticed i would have laughed i don't mind naked bodies or anything it was just so much fun that like, he was laying like that like all naked covering his penis between his legs yeah <laughs> i hope that you enjoyed um today i really enjoyed it i have such a lovely day and um subscribe if you aren't by the way Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I'm gonna see you all very soon. Bye guys.